We're ending the year strong, ending the year big. It's Emily here from Travel and Ledger, and I will show you how. I like to keep everything in vision. So when I first wake up in the morning, my bed's right here. So I can like turn to the side and just kind of, as I wake up, I'm like looking at my vision board and also my motivational quotes. This is a collection I've taken over the years. Honestly, like I've taken them from apartment to apartment and now they're here at my house. <laughs> I've like had them forever. I tend to forget about them because I don't read all of them every day, but I remember when I see one and then it sparks a memory of when I first wrote it down and I get re-energized that way. So that might help you, um, just an idea, but that's something that I do that helps me stay focused. I also keep motivation in my bathroom so that I can remind myself, sorry, that's a swear word, so I'm blocking it out. But I keep them on my mirror so that I can remind myself of all these goals. And then here's some more motivation. I also keep like to-do lists that I do, like I change that every couple of weeks, just remind myself drink water, I want to stretch more, go to the gym more, cardio really focusing on my health this year. I've done a pretty decent job, but you know, when you're looking at the same thing every day and it just kind of gets old, you're like cardio, stretch, and then you're like, oh yeah, I have to do that, but I haven't. So I've gotten better at it the last couple of months, but it was one of the reasons that I wanted to do this new vision board. Cause it's like the end of the year, you should go strong and really try to hit those goals that you set out for yourself in January. So if there's anything you've forgotten about, it's gotten lost along the way. This is a good time to like reconnect with those core things that you wanted to accomplish this year and really get them done. We still have like 60 days. That's a long time. That's a lot of time. I'm very visually stimulated. So a lot of this has some sort of like inside like vision for me. I just wanted to give you an idea of what mine looks like. So I kind of did two here and I kind of combined my health finance and business goals all together, where usually I'll do like three different ones, but this year I combined them all together because I'm trying to really focus. I found as the year went on, everything ended up kind of combining together. So it's interesting that this year, since I did them all on the same kind of area, the same kind of board, that all of my goals kind of combined together in a way, which I thought was kind of cool, where in past years I would find I would get one thing done here, one thing done here, like on each board itself. So it's an interesting concept that you might wanna try is putting all your visions into one board, or if you're really, if you have like a lot of things going on, which I had in the past few years, divide it up into three, health, business, and finance. And remember that for this last quarter of the year, you're focusing on the goals that you already had set out for this year. If there's something that changed, you can add that to it, but don't start thinking into 2022 yet because that's gonna be a January vision board. This vision board is just to finish whatever's left on this board that you haven't done yet. So as I'm going through this, I'm gonna put it your way so you can see, but I'm going to pick which ones um, mean the most to me out of these images. And I'm not going to take the things that I've already accomplished because we already accomplished that, we're focusing on the stuff that we didn't accomplish yet. So we'll go ahead and get into it. As you're going through your vision board, remember that we don't want to focus on things that you've already accomplished. Yes, take a second and congratulate yourself because you actually accomplished those. But we're focusing on the goals that you wanted to accomplish, but you didn't get there yet, or goals that you accomplished and you think you can do even better at. So keep in mind, this is for you, but I'm going to go ahead and take out my things that were big for me. This is the kind of stuff that I already did accomplish, so I don't need to worry about this. Here we go, savings. I already hit the 10 times, so now I'm gonna focus on the 250,000. This one is a big one. Fitness. Put 
this one is big for me <clears throat> because I've been doing this almost daily. So this is a great picture for me. Just the idea that I want to get to my target weight. Okay, so these are my main ones that we're going to move forward with. So now what I'm going to do is get really specific with it and I'm going to try and really focus down into the numbers, into the exact goals. And those are the things that I'm going to add to my list and I'm going to make it kind of like a checkbox kind of thing. Okay, here we go. So these are my main numbers that I want to hit. Now what I like to do is kind of cut out the things that I like and I'm going to go ahead and work them around the things that I want to accomplish for the end of the year. So since I have the two months that are left, November and December, which is 60 days, so you have plenty of time to go hard in 60 days, guys. I'm just going to focus, uh, this one I'm going to keep for my next year. I'm gonna keep this one for 2022, because relationship I'm not that worried about right now. I'm, I'm focused on the green. So I actually got a green folder to make into my poster board. That's the other thing, you don't have to be big and elaborate with these. If you want, you can do it in Canva and print it out at Walmart for pretty cheap. If you want to get very specific with it, like with me, I'm just going to like, I'm gonna put like money in the bag kind of thing. But if you want to get really specific with it, you can go into Canva and you can actually put in exactly how much money you want. You can go as far into actually like edit a bank account statement with your bank logo on it to show how much money is in your account. You can get really specific with it. Um, for me, I like the visualization of like magazines and things. That's always been my thing. So I'm going to stick with that. Maybe in the future for next year, I'll get more focused into Canva like things. But for now, I'm just going to stick to the way that I usually do it and see if it works that way. I like to lay everything down first before I start um, taping it. I like to use tape because with glue, I tend to move stuff around and it's just been a disaster in the past. So I learned to always use tape with myself because I usually can't make up my mind. So here we go. I'm going to do it so things kind of like blend into each other. So here's my old school picture. Gonna keep it just as it is. So I feel like it's really effective as it is. I also love this picture for fitness. And don't be afraid to let stuff kind of hang off your board too. I think it adds, adds layers. All right, everybody, the moment of truth. You ready to see my board? Um, so I did it, like I said, I'm more of a visual person. So I did it just visually. If you want, you could use your Sharpie and you can actually put it on your board and then add decorations around your words. But for me, I'm going to put my to-do list in the bathroom. As you saw, I have a bunch of stuff in there. So I read it every morning and every night when I brush my teeth. That kind of ingrains in my head and it's kind of a little bit of a manifestation that I do. So it's really up to you if you wanna put it on your board or in the bathroom or wherever you wanna do it. All right, and here we go. So there we go. I think November and December are going to be awesome.
Before I go, I do want to mention something that you may run across that it seems like it always happens to me, so I'm just so used to it now over the years. But when you really focus and you set your intent and you really start kind of visualizing your future and things are happening and you're getting results and it's, it's crazy when it starts happening, you're just like, you get so excited and it's so crazy almost immediately. And I literally mean like almost immediately, you will be tested. I'm just gonna call it the universe, but the universe will test you to make sure that this is really what you want. And it will beat you down. It will really test you and it will give you a big hurdle. Like even this week, so I'm trying to post every day for 30 days on YouTube and I've been doing really good and I've been staying ahead of schedule and everything. I got about, I wanna say 16 videos in and I had a death in the family. And then within the same week, actually during the funeral of the first one, we had a second death in the family. And then in the midst of all this, I get sick also. So it's like, it always tends to come in threes also. And you're going to get that challenge and you just need to push through it and prove to the universe that this is what you wanna do. I know that my loved ones are looking down on me and they're cheering me on and they wanna see me succeed also. But I did want to mention that little thing because I think it happens to a lot of us that people wanna pretend that it's always, you know, as I say, rainbows and unicorns. But it takes work. Like you're going to maybe lose some friends while you focus on things and it's probably healthy. You don't realize it now. But if your friends aren't willing to stand by you while you're working through things and getting better with your life, then they weren't really your friends in the first place. So I did just wanna mention that you might be tested and you may lose some friends along the way, but you'll be surprised because I even have friends now that I'm reconnecting with from over the years that we lost touch, nothing you know bad or anything. It's just I moved or they moved. We met in New York City and a lot of them moved to LA or Florida or back overseas, whatever it is. You'll find that people that are on your same level will start reconnecting with you. So even though you lose some friends that you might have met in the short term or maybe long term friends that are actually kind of stuck in this like stagnant lifestyle, you'll find yourself reconnecting with friends that are actually on the same level as you. So it kind of re-energizes you even more because you're meeting your friends that are also going through the same things you are. And you're also meeting people that are like-minded and also going through the same things you are. So it's really interesting how the universe works, but I just wanted to warn you that that might happen. Don't let it discourage you and just get excited because you never know who you're gonna reconnect with. If this video helped you and you did end up making a vision board for the end of the year, please tag me in it. I'd love to see it or put it in the comments. And I hope you have a great end of the year and a great start to the new year. And I'll see you in the next video.